really do. But you need to stop with the disrespect. But it's honestly too late now. Because like I said, I'm just spilling all the tea. And I'm just spilling everything. And you're not going to see your kids. You, you need a realtor because you're not allowed back in my house. I have a restraining order. Like, period. Period. Enough of that. Because I'm not going to raise my voice on that part. Let me get into this Emma situation. So, the Emma situation. Let me tell y'all. This girl... If anybody wonders why Emma has been MIA, Emma, I, I don't check up on her. I don't stalk her. I don't have nothing to do with her. She's not my friend. Do I have something against her? No, I don't got nothing against Emma. What happened happened in the time that was happened. Me and Emma's relationship was up and down, up and down because at first I didn't like her. Then it was cool. I didn't like her. We had our whole dilemma stuff. And when she, that was it with me and Emma. Recently, I talked to her. She's doing good. She's not worried about Lord. She has not been worried about Lord. Me and her literally were discussing yesterday how she dodged a bullet with this woman. She obviously with me, she knows that it's a consistent cycle. So she doesn't have nothing to say towards me and my relationship because that's my business. And she's respectful of that. So we did not talk about my business. All she was talking about is ranting on how she's better and all the trauma that Laura Nodrum has caused her. Imagine, like she was literally literally sitting there saying, I don't know why I believed her. Noting, same. I don't know why I believed her multiple times. She basically, and I gen, like, I'm being so dead ass. I genuinely feel bad for her. Like, I genuinely feel bad for her because one, she actually believed Laura. I don't know what lies Laura was feeding her. I'm not sure what exactly everything because Laura said something and Emma said something. But at this point, who do you think I'm going to believe? Definitely Emma. Laura goes around town lying to multiple females about everything, saying that me and her are done when we're not. She'd be going around telling everybody that... All the lies that you can think of, Laura Najum tells. So don't believe anything that comes out of her mouth because it's not true. While she's over here telling somebody something on the street, she's over here telling Emma and Arali, everybody else in the book, the same thing. That's a never-ending character. Like, she's disgusting. Uh, so Emma, I, I genuinely felt bad for her because she was saying... Oh, like, I genuinely believed her when she told me that she loved me and that she was going to leave you and we were going to start a family. Like, honestly, I don't knock her. Like, I don't knock her. I don't hold no resentment no more. At the time, y'all have seen that whole discussion with me, Emma, and Laura back then. I'm not going to sit here. I'm pregnant. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and relive old memories and get here and be mad. Was I mad? What Did it get to me? Sort of. Yes. But sitting here as a mature woman pregnant with my second children, like... I'm not going to sit here and relive that whole argument and start a fight over there. Like, I'm not picking and poking for none of that shit. I don't care. So, all she was saying, though, was that she generally for, fell for Laura's shit. And Laura basically went to all the doctor's appointments with her, making sure that Emma had all of her shots, spent $50,000. And I only recently found out that it was $50,000 in more money because I went through our bank statements. This, she has no shame. Like, Laura Najum has no shame. She didn't even go to the fact of hiding anything. She didn't, like, at this point, Laura Najum is just reckless. She doesn't care. And this is why I'm reckless and I don't care. You, in order for you to see my children, in order for you to step in my home, in order for you to get anywhere near me, I need to, like, I, I want that. I want a court um, order. Like, I want to go through that whole thing with her because enough is enough. Like, I'm not, I'm not messing with her. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you. You're evil. Every time you come around me and my family, you disturb our peace. So, therefore, just go away. Like, stay away. Like, for real. I'm telling y'all so dead ass. I generally just feel so much better when she's not around me. And my kids do, too, because you feel the energy. Like, you feel the energy. So, again, $50,000. $50,000 that came out of my bank account for Laura and Emma's IVF treatment. So, Emma was telling me. Like, no, for real, like, once we were together, like, all, the, all this time that Laura was telling me that she was going to the gym or going out here and there, she was going to Emma's house. Going to Emma's house, they were doing her medications, Laura was over there feeding her the most of lies. Emma went through an actual depression, like, Emma went through an actual depression where she didn't, that's why she was MIA, like, I didn't know none of this. She told me this yesterday, that she went through a depression, she had to go see, like, therapists, she had to go, like... I'm not sure who she took with her or something, but that she had, like, certain family go with her to seek counseling and, like, just going through the motions of basically thinking that she was going to be with someone, going through the motions of having her first child. Like, this is insane. Like, I genuinely felt super bad for her because I would have never wished this on nobody. And the fact that Laura 
thinks that she doesn't have to take accountability for her actions it is what really blows my mind. You don't understand that when you make a woman go through IVF, especially through the treatments, through the doctor's appointments, through the me like mentally and physically, you have to check in. And then when it's all done, you can breathe and check out. It's a cycle. It's process. It's mentally and emotionally and physically a blessing, but it can be draining. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a process. And for Laura to automatically just take Emma to the doctor's appointments, make her believe that me and me and Laura are done, make her believe that her and Emma were going to get a house, going to get a life together, going to get a... Emma literally told me they always talked about getting a ranch together, which is absolutely insane because me and Laura has always talked about getting our ranch with our horses and our farm. Like, you're not, like, and that's another thing where you're just lame. Like, you're such a lame ass girl. You go around telling the same story to everybody. I bet you everything that you come up with me, you go tell Emma. Everything that you come up with Emma, you go to the next and the next and the next. It's sickening. Like, it's sickening. You really think that you can just come out here and mess with it? Like, poor Emma. Like, poor Emma. Like, she honestly is a genuine girl. She is really genuine. She, I feel like Laura definitely didn't deserve her at all. And I'm just saying this respectfully because I feel like everything that Emma has gone through, I cannot sit here and bash a woman who was lied to. She was very happy during IBF. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, I was there. I was seeing, like, and as much as I hated everything that was going on, and I know hate is a strong word, but I have every right, you know? And, like, the things that Laura said to her to make her believe everything, it's all just a game to Laura. Laura thinks that everything's a game, and I genuinely, like I said, Emma is a genuine person. Emma really is a genuine person. I feel like she just got caught up in the mix, and even though... I felt like at times Emma did know that I was still with Laura. Laura did play most of the part of manipulating her into believing lies. So I just feel like at the end of the day, of course, I feel like everything is Laura's fault. Mo majority of the part, yes, I feel like everything was Laura's fault. And I just feel bad for Emma. I genuinely do. So with that being said, I came on, on my live and I told y'all earlier, Laura tried to pay Emma ten thousand dollars so when when emma and laura fell off like where emma was telling her like nah i'm not messing with you like you basically tricked me you play with my head you play with my feelings now i'm pregnant you got Nirali over here like acting crazy you got her in her feelings i never wanted to be like i heard her too i was on the phone when i heard that that's why i got mad respect for emma because at the end of the day she did what she did during the time and she might have did, might have not known. It doesn't matter anymore. But that's when, at the end of the day, when she was already pregnant with Laura's child and I was still in the mix, like still me and her were going at it during that time, like a few months back. Emma was telling her like on the real, I'm so upset that I'm even pregnant by you. I'm so upset that I even met you. I'm so upset that you basically fuck with my feelings and now you have me here. I'm pregnant. I'm depressed. I do not want to be pregnant. I don't want to have a child with you. She was saying, I want the baby. I just don't want to have a child with you. Like, look at the mother that I decided to give to my child. Like, and I don't blame her. Like, I don't blame her. I'm going through the same situation now where I'm just sitting here like, damn, like, why did I say, I want my baby. Of course, I'm going to have my baby. Laura as well told me to go to the abortion clinic. She can do whatever she wants. I'm not going to no abortion clinic. And that's why when she sits here and tells me, let me go to the doctor's appointment. Let me, like, you're mad disrespectful. Why would I want someone who said that to sit up in my face at the doctor's appointment? Like, you rub me wrong. You rub me dirty. Like, stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. So when Emma was telling me all of this stuff, it was just honestly making me feel like the trauma as well. Like, all Laura does is cause people trauma. She just caused people trauma. She messed with people's feelings. Like, Laura Najem is a never-ending cycle. So whoever ends up with Laura Najem, whoever, like deals with her in the same sense that I do with her. If you think that you're going to change her, this woman does not change. She will never change. And I'm saying this genuinely. I understand now. I have lived through it. I have children with this woman. Disrespectfully, she's a piece of shit. I swear. So I'm literally sitting here even feeling bad again for Emma because then she was just saying how after she told Laura, like, I'm not messing with you. I don't, I don't want to do this with you. Like, I'm, I'm going to have my baby, but I just want you to have no part in it. Laura, like, went insane. Laura went insane and then started name calling her, started disrespecting her on the phone, sending her messages, sending this, sending that. So I wouldn't blame Emma for going through the whole depression. First of all, she was lied to, fell in love, lied to. On top of that, decided to continue to have a child and just spoke with Laura and basically told her like just leave me alone and then after that while she's pregnant Laura comes on to her gives her more stress on top of everything that she's already going through mentally name calls her this and that then Laura tells her you know what it's cool 
You don't got to F with me. You don't got to be in my life neither. I don't, I don't, I'm not messing with you neither. And, and Laura did this out of being petty because Laura knows how to get to people mentally. A anything, Laura knows how to get to you mentally. Whatever it is that you're insecure about, whatever it is that really bugs you, Laura, Laura will pick and poke at you to the point where you just want to like charge her. Like promise. Like even though the, you know that you can't do that and that's not what you're going to do, she, she makes people go insane with like her words and stuff. So... She hit Emma where it hurts. I mean, you, any woman would be upset by that, get offended by that. Like, and then to top it off, she kept starting to tell her like, oh, that's not my child. Like, go get a DNA test. Go get a DNA test. That's not my kid. I'm like even speechless because like I, that's just so awful. To tell a woman that you tricked into getting pregnant, that you tricked that you love, Tell her to get an abortion. Tell her to get a DNA test. Like, you just treating this this woman like she's just somebody on the street. Like, swear. Like, no shame. No shame and no shame. She, sometimes I genuinely think that Laura has no heart. Um, she can be very cold-hearted. And there's no explanation as into why. This is just how she is. And... It just sickens me to my stomach, and that's why I tell her just stay away from me because I'm not trying to get into a heated argument with her because I have a bad temper as well. And secondly, I'm just... I'm just even speechless right now. So she, she ended up telling Emma, I'm going to give you $10,000 to get an abortion. Emma told me yesterday when, she, when I was talking to her, she was like that, she, that Emma wanted to slap the fuck out of Laura, but all she did was blocked her and... With time, she had time to, that she just took the time to think about everything that was going on. And she felt like the best decision for her life and for her was to go ahead and get an abortion. I'm not for abortion. I'm not against abortion. Um, I have no comment. And I just feel like I need to throw up because this is just too much for real. Like, it really saddens me that Emma had to go through such a traumatic and such a traumatizing experience because that, I don't know how I would live with that. And I just don't know how I would mentally be after that. So a lot of respect and a lot of props to Emma. I can't even continue talking about that conversation. And I've seen a lot of you guys were DMing me, asking me to get Emma to sit with me on a video or to sit her on my live. But honestly, um, I did reach out to her and um, I told her to take her time to think about it. If that's something that she was wanting to be open about and talk about. And she said that she would get, get back to me, that she was thinking about it. But I'm not rushing this woman. I'm not pressing her i'm not looking for any clout as much as i want her to sit and talk about laura that is just not something that i would go out of my way to like push up on someone especially knowing that she did say she's okay but i mean i'm not dumb and i can definitely see through when somebody is lying about them being a-okay and that's why i'm also just very upset sitting here talking about this whole situation because she never deserved that i never deserved that and the problem is laura Laura and everybody knows that everyone says that the problem is Laura and the truth is Laura if you're watching my video when you do you don't deserve anything you don't deserve kids you don't deserve happiness you don't deserve anything because you think that you can give and take when you want you think that because you're so rich and you're so powerful and you're so famous that you can just give and take and do exactly as you please. And because you have certain people who do exactly as you please and when they see you they get so fanned out and this and that it like it feeds your ego. That's all it is, is your ego. In reality, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you want. And that brightens me. It does. Like, you're just a walking bomb that will go off any second. And that's the truth. And until you look in the mirror and figure your shit out and figure yourself out, you're going to forever be walking around hurting people. But the thing is that you forgot to realize that with me, you met your match. And you've even said that those words have came out of your mouth exactly like that. So that's why you know I'm just not the bitch to play with. And speaking about the whole Emma situation, that's why I'm like more died down. And I just feel like I'm just gonna end my video off like this, but 
Like, I can't even finish the rest of my video with the message and stuff because I'm just so bummed out about the whole Emma situation. I'm honestly going to call her and just check on her because I genuinely feel bad. And I'm not the one who even caused her, like, any of this, but I feel bad. And that's the thing. You know I'm a good person. Like, no matter what you see online, no matter what argument, at the end of the day, I'm a genuine person. And that's why I come so hard behind what I stand for, behind my children, behind my personality, behind my character, because I didn't do anything to deserve this. And some people might be, might be more weak and go into hiding, but I have a strong personality. And that's one thing. I don't care what's said about me on the internet. I don't care what's said about me, about these people, them people, anyone in the world. I live my life. I know who I am. And at the end of the day Laura you cannot cross me you can't cross me anymore so I might make a part two because I have a lot of other screenshots